I ended up on a mountain on New Zealand South Island because I had a burning question that I just had to answer. What have I been missing having only ever lived in the Northern Hemisphere? So the majority of people live up in the North and we do so at pretty high latitudes. Um, and we get really awesome, easy views of stuff like Andromeda and Bode's Galaxy. And we've got Polaris, which is a fantastic alignment star right at that Northern Celestial Pole. But there's a lot of stuff in the Celestial South that we just can't see, like it's actually obscured by the ground. And some of these targets down there are the biggest and brightest in all of deep space astronomy. You've got the Magellanic Clouds, both the big and small one, and the Carina Nebula, which is sort of a rival to Orion in terms of like brightness and size. Um, and I actually had a picture of it, or part of it, on my bedroom wall growing up. So there's a little bit personal, and I had to go see him for myself. Uh, that and I'm a bit of a Lord of the Rings fan, so perfect opportunity. I left my light-infested city of DFW and flew all the way down to unfamiliar and very dark Bortal 1 skies, and it was awesome. I did. Tangariro took a lot out of me. Drugs Peak almost killed me. But we're here. We're here at Mueller, and I'm still alive. Cook. Oh, these glaciers. <sighs> so welcome to Mueller Hut, this beautiful iconic red cabin all the way up on this mountain that you had to hike to. It had some just spectacular views of Mount Cook and the glaciers caving and stuff. I sat there a while just listening to some of them because you it actually sounds sort of like thunder. It's pretty cool. Here's a clip. So we got set up with all the equipment that I had. Kind of minimal compared to the normal stuff because we we're basically doing wide field because I had to carry it all the way up there. But we just waited for nightfall and somehow, some way, ended up with a incredibly clear, amazing sky. And when the stars finally came out, we all headed outside. And it was really nice sharing the moment with everybody because a lot of them hadn't seen a true dark sky before. So people were looking up going like, oh, what is that? And I was like, is that the Southern Cross? And I was kind of star guiding for everyone. And we actually even had the ISS come by. And that was a nice little moment for everyone too. But it was so, so cool. And what was also really neat was that my phone was doing a super good job taking pictures. They've got these new astrophoto modes on some of these new smartphones and uh, that combined with like the dark skies, these pictures came from my phone, which I just think is spectacular. Like, yeah, it's amazing. It like, there's no other words for it. And of course we had our DSLR too. And we got some nice, fully stacked good shots of the Carina Nebula and the Large Magellanic Cloud and then the whole wide field together, which that one really lets you pull out that detail on the Southern Milky Way. Looks awesome. So that was super cool and a lot of fun. Um, ended up staying at Tekapo too, which is kind of like an astronomy town, basically. Um, but it was really cool going down there. Probably gonna do it again at some point. 
uh, and would completely recommend that y'all try and get that opportunity as well. Uh, let me know if you actually want to see a um, New Zealand sort of travel video, because there's a lot of stuff, especially if you're down for nature and hiking, that is just so cool down there. Uh, but, hey, that was the latest adventure, so see you guys next time.